All right, hey guys, Jeremy here. Want to talk to you guys about loose leash walking. Want to tell you, I uh, want to give you guys five tips. This is the beginning of our whiteboard series. Um, I will I take a subject and um, I break it down and just give you five tips on why you should be doing loose leash walking or anything that I uh, recommend. So you guys also throw me some subjects too as well. All right. Okay. So loose leash walking. Um, Brief definition. So your dog is walking beside you with a loose leash. The arc is in the leash. Usually the collar is about parallel to your hip. Not out here, not back here, and not out there. Dog is right here because it's choosing to walk with you and knows that you're ahead of the walk and he's not, or he or she is not pulling you around. All right. I want to give you five tips on why it's good. Number one, mental exercise. Um, exercise mentally. A lot of clients uh, call me and ask me how can I get my dog to be mentally stimulated, especially here in Wisconsin when it gets really below free freezing and you don't really want to walk your dog outside or your dog doesn't really want to walk outside. Um, but this is a good mental exercise because it gets your dog to focus. We deal with a lot of dogs who, in my opinion, have ADHD, the inability to focus. They're all sporadic like this, whether it's the environment that really um, gets them that way or whatever. Um, so it gives your dog the ability to focus and really relax. All right. So mentally exercise, I take the first thing I do with, uh, every client, especially in a private lesson is I teach two things, loose leash walk and the place command. Um, and we'll talk about place command in a different video, but, uh, every single time that first session, all dogs, no matter what, fall asleep on that bed. And we'd only walk maybe 10 minutes. But it's loose and your dog is using your brain and it tires them. It fatigues them mentally. So by the time we teach that place command, they're already in a nice space to just relax. All right. So mental exercise. Number two, trust building. Trust building. The loose leash walk facilitates trust because, again, you're, you're, you're giving your dog a job to do. Um, and it can't necessarily just indulge in what all's going around. Not every, it's not sniffing every uh, mailbox. It's not uh, trying to chase every squirrel, uh, reactive to every dog, reactive to every human, reactive to every, whatever it is. If your dog is really reactive, anxious on the walk, then it is our job. Um, and it's very beneficial to help them um, gain the same perspective as um, some dogs you see that just go on and uh, no matter what goes on around them, they just are comfortable with it. So it builds trust because you are really saying to the dog, hey, there's no need to act wild, crazy, anxious, aggressive, reactive. Just walk by my side and let me show you. Let me give you a perspective because at the end of the day, we are their teachers and we should be able to show them things to make sure that they're going to be a good dog. Um, number three is just it's peaceful. You know, you don't have a dog pulling you here, there, and everywhere. You don't have the, you're not going to be falling around. Um, and uh, and obviously, again, your dog's not barking its head off, um, acting like a fool. It's peaceful when you can have a dog that just walks right beside you, arms straight down. There's no a lot of strength and shoulders involved and none of that. And for a lot of people that have huge dogs, um, it's mandatory. It's really, really mandatory that you have a loose leash walk. So you can actually walk your dog. Some people don't even walk their dogs, um, because of the lack of, <laughs> because it's not peaceful at all. They don't want to deal with that stress. So if you have your, your dog loose leash walking, you can have a nice peaceful walk and you yourself can enjoy the outdoors as well. All right. Uh, number four is jumping. Yes. If you have a dog who walks on their, on the leash loose, then you can teach your dog not to jump because it's under your control as opposed to trying to control um, people, whether that th be through excitement or necessity through aggression. Um, so you're teaching your dog not to, um, or you're teaching your dog how to behave on leash and, and how to greet people appropriately. And sometimes, or, and that definitely helps with jumping. All right. Okay, and the last the last reason why you should be loose leash walking your dog is that it will make them better off leash. All right, what you're doing when you're walking loose leash um, is creating that safe space. You are you're actually through the trust building. You're actually creating a safe space that's right by your side. 
And in doing so, it teaches them that um, that comfort that you'll need. Again, when you're off leash, uh, because you have walked with them loose leash for a while and you regularly do that, then um, by default, sometimes when dogs get tired, they'll come right here because it's a safe space. So um, teaching your dog how to behave on leash is also how to get them to behave uh, off leash as well. Okay. Because if you have a pulling dog that's here, there and everywhere, just doing that. If you clip them off leash, they're still going to be doing the here, there and everywhere. Most of the time, some dogs do act different when they're actually off the leash, but, um, create good habits when, when you're walking with your dog loose leash, um, that will show up in the off leash. Um, and so, uh, again, you'll see a dog that comes bus beside you because you've created this nice safe space through the loose, through the loose leash walking. And the dog will come here by by your side um, because it's a nice, safe space um, that you've created. All right. So the last thing I want to give you is a rule on the walk that I that I, that I kind of promote with everyone uh, that I work with. And that is don't meet strange dogs on leash. You don't want to meet strange dogs on leash because it could actually ruin the trust that you may be building. And obviously then it ain't peaceful anymore. But um, but um so if you meet strange dogs on a leash, you're taking the risk of them uh, being attacked or uncomfortable or whatever it may be. If you know the dog, if the dog, if your dog that you're walking and you come across another dog that you know and they're friends, totally cool. But if you, if you, uh, if you meet a strange dog on leash, chances sometimes it could go bad for you and you'd be working backwards and you don't want to do that. All right. So that's it for this one. <laughs> loose leash walking. I will again be. Uh, this is a part of our whiteboard series. I will be doing more videos on that. Just want to give you a few tips. I'm, and, and, and obviously there's more. Um, but if you guys also know more, please feel free to comment below. Um, we want to help this channel out. If you found any value, um, help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing uh, this content. Um, because that's what, that's what it's here for. It's completely free. I want to make sure that um, you guys are... Um, uh, planting seeds for the future as far as just getting your dog to realize that certain things are um, very beneficial in the long run. So, all right, guys, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Yes.